Three suspected al-Qaeda militants are under arrest this morning in Yemen, accused of planning attacks on the U.S. Embassy and other diplomatic missions. Meanwhile, President Obama now admits U.S. intelligence experts, quote, failed to connect the dots in the case of the underwear bomber. And the president is promising more reviews. With me now is University of Maryland law professor Michael Greenberger. He's also a former Justice Department official. Professor, thank you for Good being here you. with us. In his address yesterday, the president said intelligence is imperfect, but something's got to happen. What is it that must happen that these agencies all knew something but failed to connect the dots? How do you make them accountable to each other? Well, I think the president had a very good start in correcting this problem. I hate to cry over spilt milk, but mm -hmm. it's shocking to me that we're this far down the road and this problem hasn't been corrected. All the way back in 2004, the FBI Director Mueller was promising Congress by the end of 2004 they'd have these things straightened out. Congress passed legislation in 2004 that was supposed to end all this uh, uh, scatter mm -hmm. shot uh, things, and uh, they set up a structure. It's shocking to me that it hasn't been fixed. It's shocking to me that a new administration didn't come in and take a look at this during the transition. That having been said, the president did absolutely the right thing. He got everybody in one room and essentially said, I'm the president. All the bickering, all the confusion has got to stop. We've got to collect the data, put it in one place. And if it is in one place, these kinds of things can be stopped. Now, yes, there'll be other problems. We won't have intelligence. But this was a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. From the very first, this gentleman did not. He, he paid in cash, one-way ticket from a dangerous red country. Red flags all over no the No luggage. Mm -hmm. That should have sent red flags. And if you or I went on a plane, today out of Washington, it would set up red flags. Why this didn't set up red flags is beyond me. Secondly, there was secondary information, the father right. coming to the embassy, et cetera, et cetera. You know, a high school computer exactly. expert could set up a data system that would bring this all up onto a screen. So little time. Uh, in an editorial today, former New York Mayor Koch says the president should say to the American people, this is a war, not a police action, and tell them we must muster all resources to figure it out. Charles Krauthammer says the country is uneasy about the Obama administration's response because it's not just incompetency, but incomprehension. Is that how you see it as I, well? I don't see it that way. This is simple competence, who's in charge, Somebody is an adult supervisor. We can use all the names in the world, change the rhetoric. If we don't get these fundamental, simple, I say simple things straight, we're in a lot of trouble. Are we worse off than eight years ago or are we just not moving at all? Uh, we're not worse off than eight years ago. Improvements have been made. But this, the connect the dots thing, we were talking about September 12, mm -hmm. 2001. We had the 9-11 Commission report. We had an Intelligence Commission report. We've had lots of legislation. Somebody's got to roll up their sleeves and get the basic, elemental, fundamental job done. And I think the good news is the president seems to be smashing heads together and getting this started. Professor Greenberger, thank you for being with us. You're welcome.